Atun. Atun. Gentlemen. I'm so happy. Everyone. <laughs> Scott, this is you. Because I'm hoping that this information can be taught to people. This is why I ask my nephew to come. But I think he likes to tell him to all his new friends. He is that kind of <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, remember, we are trying to deal with the question of purpose of life. There are many religious issues, but we they only deal with the purpose of life. For example, we are not going to discuss how many gods there are. <laughs> it's a totally different topic. And there are a lot of controversy. Whether it's, it's a trinity, it's a one god, or it's a many god, uh, how the Shiva, Vishnu, Vichy, all the kind of questions that we are not going to answer today. Maybe if you want, uh, we can meet again and uh, try to see uh, Shiva win or Vishnu win. <laughs> but now, uh, remember that our purpose is to answer the question of purpose of life. Now, as I just said in the morning, uh, we try to assemble the scripture to show us one thing that uh, you are immortal. And how are you immortal? Because God cut out your mother's womb. <laughs> and put the, her, the seed of you inside there. <laughs> the one we already know. And uh, we know uh, that the scriptures are said so the time. You are immortal. No. What do you want to do? And again, we show that uh, you are supposed uh, to do the eight four part. You are supposed uh, to do the eight attitude because the armor of God, the white women, the shining body, is made up of how you will perform the eight four part. If you don't perform the eight four part, you will become a chicken. Don't worry, I will be a
draw two by two, and this is the composition for for our seat and not for our money, but also for the whole world. Timothy four point ten. For to this end, we labor and strive because we have our hope set on the living God, who is the savior of all men, especially of them that live. The reference is that the week will be part of sin and rather suitable to enter paradise. Many religious groups rightly believe in a purgatory where sinners will have their sin and return. Many Christians like to condemn other religions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? A bit. A bit. But Tony is not a... So the Christian said, Tony, but I believe in Jesus, I'm going to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know this verse, I was very surprised when I gave him a cross to the world. Jesus is the propitiation for sin. Not only for our, but also for the rest of the world. And then the second one, He is the Savior of all men, especially those who believe. But also those who believe, don't believe, believe but especially those who believe. So this two part shows up uh, everybody. Everybody, you know. And I showed this story that you said you're gonna shock. How come I never see this? How come my pastor never talk? So uh, I told them uh, you are blind by your father. <laughs> Papa, you know what I mean? No? Yeah. Uh, you can't see because your father blind you. <laughs> I think the Bible shows many certain senses. Everybody really said this is in line with what I told you this morning. You are God, and few one of you is God. Whether you are Christian, Buddhist, Hindu, or whatever you say. And uh, being God, uh, you can never go to hell. Being God, uh, you will one day go home. I didn't say that. But uh, why are we here then? Ah, that's a danger. Why are we here? Oh, not just Christian. Please be awesome. Let us lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Chapter one. Uh, one. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athletic exercises self control in all things. You do it to receive a perishable wreck, but we an imperishable. So I do not run aimlessly, I do not box as one beating the air, but I discipline my body. Keep it under control. First Corinthians chapter 9, 24 to 27. So, you're very imagine, right? And the morning go for walking run, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you're on the rear. Yeah. <laughs> there are more in the Bible. Paul mentioned that. Don't think after you are baptized, everything is alright. Now, you run the rear. Try to perform well. And you know in the red, first prize, second prize, third prize, there are different levels of prizes. So to run the red well, you have to discipline yourself. If you want to go mountain climbing, you have to practice to make sure you are ready for energy. All these things are a major thing, you know. But the thing is, what is the price? This is from the Vida. You can you reach the Vida? Rishis proclaim that we are not our only mind or emotions. 
We are divine souls of the oneness journey. We came from God, live in God, and are evolving into oneness with God. We are, in truth, the true mystic. We are immortal souls living and growing in the great school of earthly experience, in which we have lived many lives. We have taken birth in a physical body to grow and evolve into our divine potential. We are inwardly already one with God. Our religion contains the knowledge of how to realize this oneness and not create unwanted experiences along the way. The peerless path is following the way of our spiritual forefathers, discovering the mystical meaning of the scriptures. You heard that whole this guy say that we should learn from the scripture that we have got to deal with the world of earth as spirit. But we are in another that means what you are trying to say the world of earth experience is your training ground. You train the pop, you train the climb, you train the fight, you train the perform wushu. <laughs> and where do you get the information? According to the Rishi, you got it from the scripture. The Rishi has come and gone. But it left behind many messages about what we can do. So, Swami Vivekananda, he had passed away, but he left many things. Swami Yoga Handa also said, when I was young, I used to borrow from the library the whole life story. You know. Yoga Handa, I used to read very thick volumes. And I like to read. They perform many miracles of their own, yogi miracles, but they also got a lot of advice to give. So, uh, and these people all uh, give out uh, testimony after testimony. And when their testimony are written down, this thing are scriptures. The Bible is full of testimony. The Buddhist Sutra is full of testimony. The Vida is full of testimony. Let us all can say, uh, case study. Uh, all the scriptures are case study. There are thousands of them. But I say around the lake, he also said, you run on the earth. Now, this one is a Christian one. Uh, I think Queen Chang will read this one to me. If you want to be perfect, go, sell your possessions and give to the poor. And you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. And when the disciples heard it, they were astonished exceedingly, saying, Who then can be saved? Therefore, here is a rich man, and he was so captivated with Jesus Christ. Probably he saw Jesus Christ for some followers, and he suspect there is something right, and he hoped to join. But Jesus said, before you join me, please give up everything. And this fellow uh, realized he cannot do it. The Buddhists or the Hindu will say, this rich man is attacked to the world. And he will start emptying himself. That's how the, the, the Hindu or the Buddhist philosopher will say that. This fella is too attacked to wealth or uh, he is too ego shall cling to life. You find that this is actually a Buddhist type of thing. Now, Papa, I must warn you, probably Jesus got it from the Buddhist. He cannot tell the fella, you 
The science, yeah, money is the root of all evil. You have heard that, you see, and the Bible is saying, uh, you suck mammal rather than God. You said, please tell me, you know, the why seek the rich uh, will be condemned to why? Why seek God? Uh, God actually hates this rich man. He loved the rich man, but he also hated the rich man. He loved people like Chen. He won't hate Chen. <laughs> he loved people who donate money. He don't love anybody. But God hates some people. It's very popular. <laughs> uh, I, I think I put it very dramatic. So I say it's a kind of paradox, you know. God loves everybody, but God hates certain people. No, that doesn't mean. He is more gentle, he said, you don't like the. Bring it, God loves it. Money is the word of evil. It's not a fun, not a strong. Uh, one, two, the doctor didn't read, it's two, one, two, okay, uh, three, sutra, 11.3, the five obstacles we disturb consciousness are, one, ignorance, or lack of wisdom, two, ego, pride of the ego, three, attachment to pleasure, four, uh, Aversion to pain, fear of death, and the fear, clinging to life. Uh, Ninth Sutra, Ninth Sutra, eleven point nine. Self-preservation, I mean, verse or clinging to life is the subtlest of obstacle, even in the wise. Uh, 30 Sutra 11.30 The first step of yoga is Yama, self-restraint and is comprised of these five personal vows. Non-violence, <coughs> truthfulness, honesty, sexual continence and abstinence of greed or possessions beyond one need. Then 37 Sutra 11.37 when abstention from stealing is firmly established, great inner riches present themselves. 39. Sutra 11.39. When one becomes free from greed or possessions, there arises knowledge of the true meaning of life. Uh, 40. Sutra 11.40. Uh, cleanliness of body and mind develops disinterest in contact with others for self gratification. And the number one evil self preservation and fitting for themselves. Tick, tick, tick. Uh, I think Tony can read Bahama Gita. Bhagavad Gita 16. Caught in the toy of a hundred vain hopes, the slaves of patient and what? They accumulate thought of unjust wealth, only to handle to their sensual desire. This I gain today, tomorrow I will gratify another desire. This wealth is mine now, and the rest will be mine alone. The commission is always hold fast to ritual, to self-interest and well, for the sake of what they may bring forth that comes from patient. Now, you can see that uh, self-gratification, self-preservation, everything for themselves. Now, you see this kind of people when they got a lot of money, uh, they will indulge in all kinds of sexual passion. They have illegal uh, party, all these things. Uh, the research scandal uh, for these people. Yoga Sutra uh, is Padam Jale Yoga Sutra. 
was deprived of war. One more. So many people pretend to love people. No? But Jesus warned them, uh, you are actually as talking people as they you bore you are corrupt. Both of the leadership of the spirit of Jesus Christ were guilty of the sin of corruption. But don't allow uh, this problem to come to our modern times. It has always been there. So when you make money, the first thing you must do is do it properly. Uh, do it properly, you see. Like, I remember I was helping to redeem this concrete, uh, and uh, the contractor who buy our cement, uh, you know how much he was telling? Uh, you said to me the cement, you had to put 280 grams of the cement you know, for one cubic that is it. Then the fellow said, uh, in the concert, uh, you lower your price up. Uh, I will tell you how to make your offer uh, viable. He said, uh, hey, you know what? Uh, when you sign a contract, uh, when you make a human, uh, don't put 2 put 2 He will tell you like that, you know. He will offer you a way uh, to cheat. Uh, And he got Mercedes to stay in the mansion. <laughs> and how he got it? I got first place even I was dead. <laughs> hey, you know what's the problem with this? Uh? It's Pharisees that try to stay up. Uh, When you go to the temple, you must type this, you must type that. Today, a uh, major source of business uh, is building industry. Uh. But in those days, uh, it was the temple service. Uh, you know, uh, so the temple service was where people try to cheat. They, they, they sell a uh, lame cheat, uh, they sell a uh, So, people who are going to die, because those days are to have some, you are seeing, you offer the God a sheep, people are, those people are doing all the rotten animals are going to die while they sell to you. And then these poor people, because they want to please God, they buy it. How come you increase the price? Oh, price increase. And you cannot say anything because you are trying to please God. So you buy a rich price. Yes. <laughs> they like the war. They spread their wealth, donate them pounds to gain the favor. But they live in stark contrast to poverty. <laughs> The God will not look at the people <laughs> for this kind of donation. The speeches are broke that the, the rich of Maryland has spoiled the poor. Sometimes religious institutions and many speeches, which they never use to help the poor. And all the things are unattainable to God. So the fallout of Buddha has a subtle warning. You who are very rich will become chicken, you see. Only soil is out. Like Jesus alone in the rich, try to go to heaven, he tried to squeeze the camera through the eye of the villain. I must go on there, Dr. Lin. Jesus is quite fierce, you know. Uh, yeah. But Buddha uh, makes it gentle. So I think I am in between that. You don't worry, I just barbed your pound. So Jesus said, you do well, 
One, we gave that power, we become Lord of one city. If you make profit, ten power, you become ten city. Five power, five city. So the Christians uh, are so happy, you know. Wow, I obey Jesus Christ. Uh, I will become governor of five cities in heaven. They <laughs> don't know what this is talking about. The only dream, you know. And then every day uh, they will say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Uh, I was in the church and I was a very good friend of the pastor. Then I told the pastor, uh, you never show love to people that you fall into my trap. He said, what do you mean? You have got love gift. Love gift. The gift love gift. So I said, anyway, I will really look at the budget. What is the love gift? The gift, do I call love gift? To present for people going to seminar, you know. Sometimes go for short courses. They never give to the poor. So I told the pastor, look at the list. There are so many poor people in church. I don't see it giving it to them. And those people go to seminar, are you sure rich people you know, in the church who know the top church leader very well? So they got the donation. Uh. So I told the pastor, you are in danger. Man. And then you know what I said? Uh, hey, um, this poor people, uh, they should come to us and ask us for money. Uh. <laughs> so I told him, you think the poor people have no face? Uh. You are the pastor, you should know uh, who I am in the church are uh, poor. Uh. You should not wait for them to crawl to you and ask for money. Right? Yeah. You should come to you and oh, not you, lah, you are a Western. <laughs> oh, maybe we can so far. Oh, poor Winchang, I know you are poor. So the church will know what. It should be that way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I should wait until Winchang asks you for money. But uh, these people, The thing uh, to them, uh, if I become a church deacon, uh, I am nearer to God. Uh, uh, you become a church elder, uh, I am even more nearer to God. If I become a pastor, uh, I must be very close to God. To them, uh, they think of uh, one city, five cities, like that. Uh, but they never think of the poor. Now, what Jesus is trying to say? Uh, You gain the extra one pound because you have service for the people and you earn this money. Now I will give you one city because you can serve one city. If you are very good and you profit 10 pounds, then I know you can serve people better. So you serve 10 cities. The emphasis is uh, to serve people. Not the Lord over. This the thing I don't understand. They treat the uh, quality God appreciate as closer and closer to the pastor. But the poor people is left. Nobody bothered about that. So one day the pastor told me, hey oh, you're a very good friend with this man. He's a smoker. Some more. Why is he going with a girl? He's not married with a girl. So the pastor looked down on the two girls, the man and the lady. He just comes to my cell group. So the lady was telling me, actually, I want to tell you one thing. She also got some psychic power. Oh, she said, I'm on the church video. You're the only one who accepts us. <laughs> she told me, uh, and you said, God told me, actually, you are a good man. Of course, I didn't say anything. Uh, you see, uh, 
so my other pastor, who I used to judge, uh, you know that the man tried to fire me. Why this? To divorce the wife and the way. Uh, but he couldn't find the wife. So he get along with this girl. Uh, but to the church, it is adultery. Uh. But to me, I told the pastor, I don't see anything wrong. God, I judge not by the law, no, but by love. She said, if I want to thank to my mother, I will hate this couple. But I don't believe in the Ten Commandments, you know. I believe in eight better two. No way, eight better two. Uh, they condemn this guy. Amen. Ah, uh, 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 Tony, you read this one. Reader of the Report of Ten City is the first. The first time Report of City should be better understood that the Walker Sutra describes Sakuti as willing to surpass. Thereupon, the Vandava addressed the Lama. This Sabati in the future will honor respect and pay homage to 8,000 copies of Buddha's being offering. After the Harini. Agna of his Buddhas, he will erect to pass his office will be 1,000 Yodanas in height and 500 Yodanas in both feet and feet. This Yodanas this will, will, will be constructed of the seven precious treasure. He will pay for it to this to pass with many flowers and necklaces, present ornament, scented powders, burning incense, canopies, flat and banners. Are built to serve mark and devotees gathered in worship. The so called reward of city is reflective of the ability of a person to serve others. If the person can serve more people, it qualifies to manage more cities. Mm -hmm. So when Buddha said, You are going to manage 100 stupa. Most people say, ha, here's my chance uh, to tell out of the fellow. Now I'm a bit cheap, right? I say that's not Buddha's intention. Buddha will select you to manage so much trouble because you know, you know how to manage the affairs so that the devotees are taking care of music. You attend to the food uh, for them uh, when they come to the temple to worship. You make sure uh, there's running water to keep. Buddha is thinking of this kind of thing now. And if you show that you can do this thing, of course you are the best fellow to be the general manager. Why should I ask somebody who is so cocky who wants to sit in the office shade leg and all he do is he make a telephone call to you, Papa, do this, China, do that, China, do this. Buddha don't want this kind of person. If you know how to sell, don't worry, Buddha got a place for you. Yeah. And this is what Jesus was trying to say. If you sell people, then you are more able to control more and more people. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Lord Jesus warns that one must not think of ruling to lord over people like the pagan, but must have an attitude of serving. You know that they do. You know that they who are counted to rule over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it is not so among you. But whosoever would become great among you shall be your minister. And whosoever would be first among you shall be servant of all. For the Son of Man also came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. All this thing is going to determine how your armor of God develops. Let's say uh, you are actually a uh, a uh, one city fellow, you are able to go and probably like say that God will give you 
76 no go for the one where for because stream entry is only a name there is no stream entry the sister will pay no regard to form sound order taste touch or any quality it's called stream entry so okay, what do you think does an adept who is subject to only one more reverse safety between himself I obtain the fruit of a one to be reborn. So he said, no, go for the one. Wherefore, because once to be reborn is money a game. There is no passing away or coming into existence. The adept who realized this is called once to be reborn. So what do you think? Does a venerable one who will never more be reborn as a mortal state within himself? I obtain the fruit of a non eternal Sabati said, No, go on the one. Wherefore, because non returner is only a name, there is no non returning Hence, destination non returner Now, Buddha compared everyone of us to entering the stream. If you don't know why you say stream, you might not understand what you say. The stream is the Milky Way. Ancient legends say the stream is the conduit from God to Tapa. The soul comes down this stream, Milky Way, but when you die, you will go back along the Milky Way to God. There is what many ancient cultures think so. The Black Indian of America particularly mentioned this story. So I repeat, you enter the stream. Do you notice what the Buddha said? You will only be reborn now once only. And you will never return. The first question. You are the ones to be born. You are the ones to be born, man. You are one, one to the rebound, you saw one to the rebound, you said a few times here, then the end there is said, you are also the non-returner. You won't return. You come for the new year to be reborn or incarnate only you want. And when you die and you go back to the new year, you will not return. But you see, there is something about reincarnation. It's not so simple as like that, you know. The simplest thing people say, uh, if I die, uh, maybe next time I become a dog. Mm -hmm. That's a very simplistic view of reincarnation. Uh. The other side says, uh, ah, no such thing as reincarnation. Actually, it's not so simple. So this one uh, has got another thing. What they don't realize is, uh, when you see it, you see it, the Milky Way, you come to the earth, you go back. How many living things are there? Infinity. How many living things do you see? You see yourself as one. Huh? How many more? How many billion? How many more do you see? How many? Actually, the Milky Way, I'm going to many legends, is our local Siwara. The Milky Way itself is where Kuan Yun located herself. Can't see it. That's why the legend called the Milky Way God, Manito. No. We actually every night can see God, but we never realize. Every time we see the Milky Way, uh, it is our look at Siwara, the manifestation of the original Purusa. Totally, we call that the unconscious, uh, the great conscious, it has no form. Uh, it has no form. We cannot see it has no form, it has no idol, but it is living and dying. And that living entity <coughs> will interfere with your mother's womb, 
there is information, there is evil, but there is no reincarnation. The light that I have is reborn again and again, but the candle holding it is not reborn at all. Uh, you read again for yourself. Of no, but the blue one. <laughs> the bottom one blue. Give a further example. How does Tao remember learning Maharaja in childhood? Some words or other from the teacher of verses? Yes, the other one. Did that Maharaja that was passed on from the teacher to him? No, he did remember. Mm -hmm. Even trust Maharaja, though there is no passing or there is no reformation. So, uh, when Dr. Lim uh, teach me uh, what I'm doing, uh, the information uh, from him is reborn in me. You know. But he is not reborn, uh, I'm here. He is still alive. Are you really getting it? But actually, the Buddhist concept of reincarnation applies only to the Gamma. The truth uh, is like a living thing. It is reborn again and again. It's part from chain to totaling, totaling to chan chan to pepper, pepper to burning. But you are still there. You are still there. That is actually the Buddhist concept of reincarnation. The karma, the truth is karma. Karma reincarnate, but your soul don't transpire. That's it. I don't believe it. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I think Dr. Lee is very sad by the Buddhist. With this uh, sort state of awareness is characterized by the simultaneous presence of mind in various stations and is represented as the Buddha's distribution of emanation bodies in all the world system to teach the Dhamma. It is the body which appears on earth as a guide towards liberation for all beings. Thus the world saviors have a uh, Docetic or illusion, uh, sorry, body existence. Uh, Samuni Buddha was such an imaginated form of Tuko, and his life is the perium of Woody development. So, this is the, this Buddhist source, the mind. You have many stations. The mind comes down on many stations. The mind reincarnate again and again. But this station, they are not reborn, they are dead. So I uh, see, uh, I forgot to put this. The light can be turned from here to here, here to here, here to here. To here. You see uh, how it does. What Nagasimha tells the Marinda and the Jagra? So the truth, the Dharma, will flow down the angels. The Dharma incarnate in Vishnu. Later on, the incarnate in Krishna. Later on, the incarnate in Mura. This is the Buddhist reincarnation theory. The show does not transpire, but the truth, the Dharma, the incarnate again and again. Are you in the end 
مرة ايش بعيد الفتوت كونفنس مي بعيد بعيد الفتوت وانا عم بسنا كان جوست باي ريزن ان اوف شيء ده تطلب ليش ما راح اقول لك خافوا يا لا انا ما في روم من ذا انا استنوا او سي مي بي على ما تلاتي بس انا بقول
you don't have another life to develop this armor of God, it is only this life. That is why uh, the theory of samsara is very dangerous. It's not a theory of, uh, ah, uh, you cannot do it now, you do it in five lines from now. <laughs> So this was done tell you no reborn But Dr. Lim don't have to worry, just have to achieve it. So Chen will become a golden tune, Dr. Lim will become a silver white dragon, the kind of thing. Uh, you don't have to worry. Uh, of course, you have to worry. <laughs> you also. Yeah, I think you are 50% alone with it. I don't tell you, but I don't have to change that. Uh, it's almost perfect, you know. Of course, the problem is that the small thing we don't need. I don't have to change that. I don't have to change that. So you have to change that. We're going to follow you. Yeah. 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 So he was always like that, uh, Jack Confield. Uh. <laughs> Jack Confield. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that uh, you put a small room, right? Uh. So you are right uh, in a small room, Jack will come now. Uh. Jack will lend you his will. Uh. Uh, you have a uh, higher immortal being that uh, will help the others. Don't worry, we will help, we will definitely help them. Now, now, don't go and wait until the incarnation, you have missed the book. Uh, I think we don't have much time, but I want to tell you this thing. You will begin to realize something, you know. You come there to grow the armor of God, based on how you deal with Evil seen and suffered. <laughs> now you are exposed to you. The origin of you are photo very fast. In the Holy Bible, in Hinduism, and even in the Quran, God created you. That is what the many people do not know. <laughs> it's not Satan who created people. I am the law that is not else. I form the light and I create darkness. I need fear and I create you. My God. Maya is born from Brahma. The two are opposite. <laughs> yeah. Allah made me as straight as you will. <laughs> you have got a divine advocate, so you understand the judgment. And then you should put this as a piece of paper in your pocket. And then uh, the judge mentioned the judge. Hey, wait, wait, wait. This is uh, your text. <laughs> that could be the origin. Oh, la. Oh, yeah. The mother made you uh, so the ball back to God. Yeah. Uh, That's right. Very beautiful. It's like some time for this. In Roman. Who are you to object? I'm the potter. I decide how the clay is in the form. Yeah. If I have made you a perfect vessel, it is my wish. If I have made you a cooker vessel, it is also my wish. That's why I say that. The potter has the right to the clay. Uh, I was talking to Shane about this. This, yeah, all, all this kind of voices in the Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, uh, your guru saw good that you were. He put that you were to train you up. Doctor. He didn't put an evil to punish you, you know. He's putting it in as an obstacle in the race. So the training guy is an obstacle race. 
，我买了家务活，俺们老外了，啊，这个，运动鞋啊，高啊，是是是，高啊，马亚比，快马车，一流血。